To be isolated and alone in this tough time of COVID-19 has sent many young adults in our community into limbo. During the outbreak, high school students, including myself, have missed the crucial aspects of face-to-face -face learning. These issues have not only impacted their education, but also their mental health and relationships in their lives. These problems have manifested into complications such as stress, anxiety, and even behavioral issues. Now we beg the question, how do we come back from this? How can we still stay connected? Step number one, addressing the problem. The COVID-19 pandemic has influenced the way we live, the way we function, and when we are forced in a state of isolation, it can be difficult to keep on top of how we are feeling. Turning back time before COVID, mental health and issues among young people in our society were still prevalent. Suicide was still one of the biggest killers for young Australians, with having accounted over one third of deaths among young adults. On top of that, one in seven young people aged 4 to 17 will experience a mental health condition in their lifetime. Not only do these statistics show the issue of mental health in our community, but the lack of awareness being raised for young people to seek for help. So how can we make it better? And that brings us to step number two, painting the picture. Or in other words, how do I make things happen? For the last couple of weeks, I've consulted with the school executives and spoken to a range of relevant specialist professional advisors, which have assisted me in coming up with an initiative which will be beneficial for young people after COVID. In light of this, my initiative sprung. Stay connected. This project will be where we put together a short series of video presentations with guest speakers addressing topical issues concerning high school students. These presentations will be made available through the internal school's online platform called Canvas. Every fortnight, a video will be released on Canvas addressing a new topic such as study techniques or how to deal with stress. The show will be hosted by me to form a connection with the students so they are looking at someone they can relate to. I will be introducing each video's guest speaker and interviewing them like on TV. The production will be produced in-house where the Stay Connected video series will be filmed at the school where the school staff, students and occasional guest speakers will be introduced. The school has been generous enough to lend the video production equipment for me to use, such as studio area, video production material, and cameras, etc. Here's a short clip of the first episode of Stay Connected. Our topic for today is study habits, and I'm joined here with Year 11, your advisor, Miss Diet, who will be talking in. Thank you. Um, I, I really only have three key things that I talk about with study habits. Firstly, be organised right from the very beginning. Get your notes for each subject in one specific spot. Make sure you don't have a couple of notes on your device and different notes in your book. You really need to get organised from the beginning to make that whole study process much, much easier. My second big hint is use colours. Lots and lots of colours or if you only have a couple, make sure you've got at least three. Each colour should represent a little different thing. For example, you might have one colour that shows a formula, a second colour might have the heading or the, the explanation, and another colour might have an example if we're talking about maths. That way you can keep things on track and straight away it's really visually easy to read. My third little tip for study is to have fun and find something that works for you. For example, if you're really musical and you love lots of songs, rewrite some lyrics to your favourite song to summarise a key topic. Or if you're someone who's quite active, um, write down all your notes, type them up, then put it to an MP3 file and listen to it as you go for a jog. Find something different, find a creative way to study and that way you'll have a little bit more fun and, and enjoy studying. The final step is leaving a legacy. Stay Connected will become a catalyst for raising awareness of mental health among my school community whilst also helping students persevere through these hard times. In coordination with Jennifer Rhodes, the SRC coordinator, she has volunteered to incorporate the SRC to continue on the video series after I have left school. The most important thing about Stay Connected is that it is leaving a legacy of erasing the stigma of mental health as well as raising awareness of it for young people.